Hi and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend. I'm Tony, sales manager here at Martin Lynch & Sons. So today we're going to be looking at stocking fillers ready for the Christmas period. Uh, gifts you can either buy for yourself or maybe a family member can get for you or maybe you want to buy a gift for your friend. Anyway, let's take a look at something that's slightly different but it's been around for a while. It's the Wuxom Pro Pack. So, here we go. One massive change as you can probably notice is it used to come in a big orange box, orange and yellow box with Martin Lynch and Sons, etc. on it. Well, that's all changed now. We've asked them to create more of a portable package, something that you can kind of take away on holiday with yourself. And well, I mean, let's see what they've done. Let's open it up. So, as you can see, dual zips on there to make it nice and easy. And we're open the box. I'm just gonna move it over to the, the other camera so you can have a bit of a closer look. So as usual, it comes with your instruction manual. And also you get your programming cable as well as standard. A uh, good thing with these radios is you can set all your memory bank channels up completely and basically just select through. So if you've got local repeaters, put them all into one bank. If you like to listen to airband, because this does do uh, 8.33 kilohertz steps, it's nice and easy. Uh, it comes with the disc still, I don't know why, I'm not too sure who's still using these, but all the software is downloadable from the Wuxon website. Uh, also, we've got the AC lead there, and we've got a case. We've got a battery eliminator here as well, so if you want to run it in the car, you can plug it into the cigarette lighter socket, or cigar lighter socket, depending on uh, what you prefer to smoke. Turn that to one side and got your drop-in charger as you can see there so you can run straight in with the lead and charge directly in the car as well if need be and we've also got a let's get this out of here actually make it a bit clearer a speaker microphone as well with the standard two pin connection on there so the good thing with the uh, the Wuxom products is it's kind of a Kenwood style standard two pin. So if you do have a, a nice microphone or a hands-free microphone for your Kenwood, you can use that as well. Okay, so let me take the uh, radio out here for those of you that haven't seen one. Here we go. So it's dual band, two meters and 70 sems. And you've also got wide receive on this as well. So as I said, you can do air band receive. It's a standard SMA connection on there as well. So most of your uh, accessories should fit straight on if you've got alternate antennas, etc. So die cast chassis, as you can see, come from us, from Martin Lynch and Sons. And you've got the frequency coverage on there as well. Built-in torch on the top for those dark nights and winter walks when you're uh, accessing the repeater while walking the dog. And just, yeah, just a great little handheld, really robust. And we've been selling these for many years now, uh, as you know, because they're on UV9 and we started with the UV1. And they're just, yeah, just a great bit of kit. Five watts outputs on those. So still more goodies in the box or in the bag. So you've got a battery here and then just clip straight in. And then we've got another battery. So you should be good for a good weekend away. And I'm just going to open up this bit. And in here, got another bag of accessories. So antenna, dual bands. Another DC lead there as well. So this one goes straight into the charger and into the cigar lighter socket. We've got covert style, I suppose, over the ear headphone and microphone there. So these are great with the little PTT and the clip on there as well. So you can just put it straight onto your lapel and operate away. And on top of that, got a single band antenna here as well. So if you're just operating a UHF on the repeater, you can keep the antenna size down a bit. Also, belt clips. So 
So two of those, lanyard, and the all important adapter as well. So that screws straight onto the top of the SMA socket and gives you a SO239 to PL259 connection. So if you want to run a mag mount, etc., perfect. So let's move that to one side. I'll just show you this bag a bit closer as well. So nice zip and netting on the top. And then if we open it in there, you've got your elasticated holdable bits as well. So if you don't want to take everything out, you can literally just pop your radio in, a couple of spare batteries and be good to go. Maybe a nice sandwich in there. Right, let's move that to one side. And moving on now, um, DMR. Do you fancy sort of testing DMR out? Maybe you've not used it before, you don't want to spend too much money, etc. Then we're going to move on to the TYT MD380 UV. So it's dual band, 270 SEMs, 5 watts. And uh, I'll grab one now so you can take a look. Again, come nicely boxed from TYT, as you can see here. And this is the unit itself. Now there's no direct entry on these as far as I, as I know. Um, so you want to put everything into memories, which is perfect anyway for DMR, especially if you're running a, a hotspot, for example, you're only going to really need the one frequency and you can do all of the rest of it from the keypad. Okay, so nice and simple, volume control on the top and then kind of your VFO to stroke channel change on there. Again, nice die cast body and this one comes with Manual again, and then we've got the antenna, battery, drop-in charger, as you can see, standard belt clip, and your uh, AC plug there as well to go into the charger, and your programming cable as well. Obviously you're going to need this, especially if you're working on your co-plugs, etc. Now, we're often asked about co-plugs. Do we supply radios with co-plugs? Uh, we give you an example of a co-plug. So, it's amateur radio, it's a learning hobby, it is all about learning. And the best thing you can do is, literally, go through it, find an example of what we've done, and then just add your local repeaters. You can set it out. If you, if you think of the co-plug as a directory, basically, to how you're going to operate, and then go from there. Um, if you are really struggling, I uh, suggest joining any of the DMR Facebook groups. Um, there's loads and loads of co-plugs. Um, if you find someone local, you'll also be able to find someone who's done a local co-plug for your repeaters. Right, moving on from there, we're going to go on to C4FM. So, Yesu's system fusion system. Um, loads and loads of radios on the market now from Yesu, which will help you access the fusion repeaters like the DR1, DR2s. Um, we run a a DR1 here, for example, with uh, our own repeater. Uh, so, what can you get for your money? How do you want to operate? Do you want to be portable? Do you want to be mobile? Do you want to operate from home, etc.? So, we'll go handheld first and take a look at the FT70. So, again, dual band, two meters and VHF. Five watts output on RF. Again, standard SMA connection on the top. And then you've got a multi-function knob for when you're selecting through. Direct keypad on the front, again, very, very simple sort of die cast chassis where you can just literally pop your battery straight into there. And the good thing with these, as I said, this gives you access to the C4 FM network. Uh, price wise, we are looking at around about 169, so 170 pounds. And again, if you want, you can pop it in your car, use it in your car, use it with a local repeater. Obviously it works on analog as well. And again, you've got a wide band receive with these as well. So we won't spend too long with the FT70 because I've got quite a few radios to go through. And put that to one side. Moving on from that, we've got, well, we do two in one here, really. So we've got Yesu's current offering, which is the FT5D. And then we also have the FT3, as you can see there. Okay, so FT3 and FT5D, Two things really. Number one, I've got an FT3 already. Do I need an FT5D? Well, best thing to do if you get the latest edition of Practical Wireless, um, there's a great review in Practical Wireless. Um, basically, 
he runs through exactly the same issue. Do I need a three or do I need a five? So I say go straight to Practical Wireless, have a read through there. Obviously you can buy the uh, magazine in store here. Uh, we can get it shipped out with any of your orders as well if you want to add it to an order, it's not a problem. Um, Jonathan's also done a video explaining exactly the same, the FT3, FT5 comparison. Now, if I want a full color screen handheld, what would I do? Um, if I don't have the FT3, then I'd probably go the FT3 route because the pricing on the FT3 at the moment is so keen. Uh, also, we do supply it with, as you can see, the uh, SSM BT10, which is the Bluetooth headset. So you can pair that up. Obviously wear that in the car, have that wired up to again a mag mount or whatever, or even if you're out for a walk, uh, just put the radio on your side and use the Bluetooth headset. And it's, you know, it's not too obvious when you're operating. So yeah, FT3 for me, if, if you've not delved in and you want to save a few pounds, FT5 if you love the technology and the benefits of, uh, of the later newer radio. Right, as I said, look out for the videos on mlands.tv with these for further information as well. Well worth a watch and uh, thank you Jonathan for the reviews on that. Okay, moving across from there. So you want to operate from the car FTM 300. So, it's like delving into Santa's sack at the moment, as you can tell. <laughs> okay, so FTM 300 and D to give us its uh, proper name. Again, dual band radio, two and 70, and uh, 50 watts outputs with this on RF. Here we go. Now, as you can see, it's quite a small display, but the good thing with this is obviously you can, again, add your memories onto it for local repeater work when you're mobile to make it nice and simple. And beauty of this one as well, built-in Bluetooth. So there's some Guys out there I know are running with the Bluetooth system with inside their car. Um, they've managed to uh, allocate the function for PTT on one of the buttons as well. Uh, don't ask me how they've done it, but I know if you Google it, there is a, a few reviews out there and uh, a few kind of step-by-step -step guides on how to do it. But these are a lovely radio. Again, if you want the larger screen, uh, take a look at the FTM 400 where you'll get the, the uh, very large color screen. So there we go, and DTMF microphone there and you've got your channel change, etc. here. It's a nice little present. It's not overly expensive. It is very, very good value for a, a mobile transceiver. Okay, moving on from there, we're gonna take a look at the CG3000. So here you go. So let's get this unboxed for you. So the CG3000, we've been selling, I think, since I joined, which was, over a decade ago. Um, it's a great seller. They used to do a lovely CG5000, which was uh, the higher power version of this one. It was a 500 watt tuner. But uh, this one, 100 watts or about 125 watts sort of max. And it's a long wire tuner. So if you've got a small garden and you want to run say 10 meters of wire, for example, you can run it with this and it will get you on from 80 meters upwards. Okay, so it comes with some mounting brackets in case you want to mount it onto a pole. And then you've got your connection cable, so you can run your DC, etc., back to the shack. And book of words. And then this is the unit itself. Let's get this out of the way. So, there we go. So, plain and simple with this one. You've got a wing nut on the top there, to which you connect your wire to. And that's your antenna. And we turn it around. As you can see, this is your connection cable, which I showed you just then. And this runs your DC and your remote control for the tuner direct onto here. Coax fed through here. And then you've got your earth in screw here as well, or wing nuts, I should say. Uh, these do come with uh, the remote control unit as well. So if you find you're having any issues with tuning, for example, I mean, there's thousands of memories on these anyway. So if you're going to the same, you know, net frequency, it will remember that frequency and tune really quick. But if you just find that, you know, you've got a bit of lockout, etc., on the tuner, you can hit the reset from the shack, reset the tuner again for the memories, and then, you know, rescan and retune for the, uh, the frequency you're on. 
Um, another good thing with these is it's not just long wires that you can tune. You can actually run a loop through from the positive end there and then onto the ground. So worth doing if you want to, you know, make a loop for 80 meters, for example. Really good way of doing it with the, the CG3000. Uh, one of the favorites of Martin, these actually, which is why we're still selling them. Okay, moving on from them, something which is ideal if you've already bought yourself that present that you wanted, i.e. the 705. And that's the case. So it's the POV case which uh, is really, really robust. Um, there's loads and loads of aftermarket products, sorry, for the 705, but this one is just superb. I mean, we've obviously tested quite a few here, as you've seen by the videos that we've been doing for 705s over the last year or so. Um, but yeah, this one, nice and robust, carry, uh, carry handle on the top. You've also got your kind of rack mount handles on the front if need be. And as you can see with this one, We've actually got the Z mount bracket fitted onto the bottom of it. So that's the good thing with this mount is, one, it's gonna protect your radio for starters. And secondly, you can add all of the accessories. So we've got a Q-Rab on there, for example. And as I said, the Z mount as well, and it still gives you easy access to the battery on the back. So, you know, you've just spent 1,200 pounds on a radio and Definitely, definitely worthwhile getting something to protect it. Uh, this one's our demo version, so obviously it's been manhandled around the, uh, <laughs> the showroom a few times. And yeah, still is new. So perfect, perfect gift. And price-wise with these, uh, we're looking at 140 pounds. So it's not bad, you know, if someone wants to give you 25 pounds here, 25 pounds there, you'll probably get it for 100 pounds or so by the time you put a few pounds in. All right, let's move that across. Now from Icon, we're gonna to go to Yesu. Um, we've sold a lot of FTDX 10s, 101Ds, 101 MPs. Um, I mean, it's been a great range of Yesu radios this year. Um, all come with a fist mic, as you know, standard, but you may want a desk mic. So my choice so far for the desk mics, uh, best value for money without going, you know, silly money to the M1, et cetera, is the M70. So let me grab one of those for you. Okay, so the M70 microphone looks a lot like the original MD100 microphone, A8X, but a bit more modern with its styling and a lovely shroud now, which comes over the top of the microphone, as you can see. Again, if you want to pop it onto another mount, not a problem. You can remove the, the main part and the main element. And you've got your PTT on the front, as you can see, and also a lock as well. So uh, when you're on net and it's your turn to talk, talk for as long as you wish. Uh, other good thing with the Yesu microphones, and we get asked this a lot, um, will it fit my radio? I've got a modular plug, um, I've got an 8-pin plug, etc. I'm not too sure if it will do the job for me. Well, let's remove that, as you can see in the back. It has an eight pin round socket and a modular collection, uh, connection as well. So the good thing with that is the lead is a two way lead. And this is the same with all of the Yesu microphones. So you'll find you've got the modular side and you've got the eight pin. So if you're running an FTDX 10, the eight pin goes into the microphone and that goes straight into the radio. If you're running a 101, just switch it around and away you go. And the same goes for any of the older 8-pin radio from, uh, from Yesu, so FTDX 3000, uh, FT950, FT, FT1200, just works perfectly well, and 857s. So that, that is great because I mean, you can buy one microphone and you're good to go on any of your Yesu radios in theory. Right, moving away from that. Now this one isn't out of the box, so bad planning by myself. Basically the XPA, 125 linear amplifier. Um, you've seen these a lot on the videos that we've done with the 705. Um, all I can say is QRP amplifier, so low drive, sort of five to eight watts in, will give you around about 100 watts to 125 watts out. Built-in ATU as well, which is just superb, under 500 pounds with a built-in ATU. 
Now there's a lot of linears around for the 705, uh, you know, stuff like the, the lab radios, for example, but what you'll find is there's no ATU. So it's gonna cost you more and more again. This is where the 705 or the 818 looks a really, really good buy, good value buy, in the fact that you're gonna get your radio, buy one of these linears, and you've got your full setup ready to go. And the tuner on these is superb. So we tuned uh, one of our 49 to one balance and the wire with one of these no problems whatsoever you know yeah even through to top band we did manage to operate whilst on the subject of uh operating obviously we're going to need antennas so we've got a special on at the moment for the super antenna and this is the uh, mp1 dxg2 plus so I'm gonna a little bit closer so you can see there so it's hf vhf and two meters so it basically gives you full coverage and it's kind of a cut down version of uh, Super Antenna's original package. So you've got everything in there. You've got the slider, you've got the uh, telescopic whip antenna and you're all ready to go. You've got a mount there. Now, simplicity of this is it comes with the spike mount. So if you are out and about in the field, you don't want to take a tripod. This, build it up, put it on the spike and you can go straight into the ground. You've probably seen that lovely picture of our Gary uh, in Radcom, where he's standing there, giving us a, a wee smile and a wink. Um, this is that antenna in question. Uh, these retail at two one four ninety five. Um, just a great antenna. So if you you know if you're going on holiday, you're away with the in laws for the Christmas period. You want to have a sneaky little operation with your your seven zero five or eight one eight. Take one of these with you. Pop it out in the garden, and uh, neighbours won't mind too much. Right, moving on from there is the Kiwi SDR receiver. Now we've got another batch of these and these have become very popular. Um, Gary done a video of these with regards to remote operation. Uh, he has one of these set up as well, which I believe you can access via the web. Good thing with these, uh, HF receiver, as I said, web interface. So you can set one of these up in a remote location pop in your details on the web, get it connected online, and then log into it and receive from wherever you are in the world. And they're superb, and there's a great community with these as well, good testing community, uh, where guys are setting these up and kind of, kind of creating a network of receivers. So if you can't hear that DX station from your home QTH, you can always log on to one of the other receivers and uh, see if you're being heard. Right, last but not least for Christmas, if you can't decide what you really want and you're not going to buy anything for maybe six months or a year. Not a problem. One of the Martin Lynch gift vouchers. Now we've been doing these for many, many years. Every year we know it's coming to Christmas because I'll probably get five or six orders within, I think it's probably the, the first couple of days of December and I recognize the names and it's basically one guy's family who uh, orders a lot of these vouchers for him and he has a big spend up come the summer, which is, which is great because <laughs> he can choose exactly what he wants. Uh, value wise on these, uh, anything from sort of 10 pounds upwards really, just let us know what you want to put on there. You can buy them online, we can send them digitally. Uh, there's no expiry date on these. So absolutely perfect. If you know, say for example, ID52 is gonna be out in a few weeks and you think, oh, it might be delayed for a while, you know, but I need to give a gift to one, one of the members of the family, for example, get them a gift voucher. They can use it for whatever radio they want, whichever accessory, and just come to store and spend it. Uh, top value on these, I believe I've had a chat with Martin and we will honor these up to around about a million pounds or so. So, you know, we can, we can get your shack looking really, really nice with a gift voucher. Anyway, that's just some ideas now for stocking fillers and Christmas gift ideas for either yourself or your friends or family. Uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be doing a, a larger Christmas, so kind of a luxury Christmas wish list, i.e. those gifts that you really, really want, but you might need some help getting. So uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, I think the, the big man may be back in as well. Uh, word has it, uh, there's another video from Bob Heil. Um, it's going to be a proper Christmas special, that one. And I've had a little glimpse of it, and it's, it's very, very entertaining. So we're looking forward to that. Anyway, take care. Thank you very much for your support. Don't forget any questions. Give the guys a call. Uh, they're all very supportive at the moment and all ready, ready to fulfill your orders. So take care, and uh, we'll see you soon.